In this question, we have a toy submarine and we're given the mass of the submarine as 37.8 grams. The submarine is then placed in a beaker of water to determine the volume. So in the diagram, we see a before diagram showing some water in a beaker and an after diagram showing the same water in a beaker, but now an object, the toy submarine, has also been placed in the beaker. And we can see the total volume of the water and the toy submarine. So first step, let's go ahead and enter any known variables into our variable list. We're told the mass 37.8 grams, so we can enter that in. For the volume, we're gonna need to use our diagram. So having a look at our diagram, before, this is our volume. So if we look on our scale from 20 to 30, we're at the first marker. And since there are five markers, each of those represents two milliliters. So this is gonna be 22 milliliters to start with. In the after diagram, once the toy submarine has been added, we're here. So with a third marker between 30 and 40, again, five markers represent 10. So one of these markers represents two milliliters. So this is going to represent 36 milliliters in the end. So if our initial volume was 22, then we add the submarine and our final volume is 36. We're going to find the volume of our submarine by subtracting those. So volume is going to be 36 minus 22. That gets us 14 milliliters for our volume. Now we need to get that into centimeters cubed to use that in our equation. However, it's really easy because one milliliter is actually equal to one centimeters cubed. They're the same measurement. So 14 milliliters, 14 centimeters cubed is the same thing. So we can go ahead and enter that into our variable list here. Volume was 14 centimeters cubed. Wonderful. Now headed back to our reference sheet we're looking for the density mass volume equation and same as usual here it is density equals mass divided by volume so let's write down that equation density equals mass divided by volume we're looking for density so we don't need to rearrange it so let's go ahead and put in our numbers mass was 37.8 grams divided by the volume which is 14 centimeters cubed putting that into our calculator, we're going to get a density of 2.70 grams per centimeters cubed. So let's check that in our answer box. Awesome. Okay, so we found our density. Now we can use that to figure out the material the submarine's made from, looking at our density table in the bottom right. A density of 2.7 we can see here is the density of aluminium. So let's select aluminium from our list. Awesome, final question. If it was placed in corn syrup, would the toy submarine float or sink? So looking at our density table, corn syrup we found here has a density of 1.48 grams per centimeters cubed. Aluminium has a density of 2.7 grams per centimeters cubed. So we can see the density of the submarine, 2.7, is greater than the density of the liquid, 1.48. So because of that, it has a greater density, so it's going to sink. In this question, we have a sample of corn syrup. And that sample of corn syrup is poured into an empty beaker. So here, when it doesn't actually look like we're given any numbers in the question, but we are told corn syrup is the name of the material. And we're shown the before and after image showing the volumes in the beaker. So let's start out with the information that it's made of corn syrup. Having a look down at our table, 
corn syrup has a density of 1.48 grams per centimeters cubed. So we can add that into our variable list up here. 1.48 grams per centimeters cubed for corn syrup. Next, let's have a look at our diagram and see if we could use that to figure out the volume. So our before shows an empty beaker. So to start with, there are zero milliliters of corn syrup in the beaker. Afterwards, we end up with this much corn syrup here. So between 15 and 20, it's at the first marker. And since we've got a gap of five with five markers, each marker is going to be worth one milliliter. So that means this is going to be 16 milliliters of corn syrup at the end. So here it's really easy to find the volume because our volume is going to be the final volume, 16, minus the initial, which was just zero, which gets us 16 milliliters. Again, milliliters and centimeters cubed are the same thing. So that's the same as 16 centimeters cubed. So we can now add that into our variable list for our volume, 16 centimeters cubed. Wonderful. Last step is finding our unknown variable, the mass. So let's head over to our equation sheet. So we want our density mass volume equation. Here it is. Density equals mass divided by volume. Let's write that equation down. We're looking to find the mass. So we need to do some rearranging. I want to get rid of the volume that's currently dividing the mass. So I'm going to multiply by volume on both sides of my equation. And those volumes on the right will cancel out because we've got multiplied and divided. So we're left with mass equals density times volume. So now we can just put in our numbers there. The density was 1.48 grams per centimeters cubed multiplied by the volume, which was 16 centimeters cubed. That gets us a mass of 23.7 grams. So let's check that finally in our variable list here. So as you can see, these questions are very similar to the other density questions. They use the same equation and the same concepts. The only difference is here we're using volume measurements from a beaker to figure out the volume in each of these questions.